Hi Stampers! Rose Grunewald here coming at you from my Stampin' Studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. And today I'm here to show you how I made this super cute Celebrate Spring card. Isn't that adorable? Uh, the inside of this card is a generic all-occasion sentiment, you make me smile. And we're gonna make this together. Okay, so this card has a few layers going on here. I really like the white on white color palette lately. It's super popular. So I've got my card base out of Whisper White Thick Card Stock. Now I'm gonna have all the dimensions for this card in my blog. Uh, this is a typical eight and a half by five and a half and then I score and fold at four and a quarter. And we've got front layer let me make sure I have the right piece here yep this piece is five and a quarter by four and we're gonna add some texture to this card by embossing it in the garden trellis embossing folder so a little trick I figured out when using this embossing folder is I notice we've got some flat lines on these trellises here going across the card and I use that to line up the edge of my layer so that I know I have a straight layer on here. I'm going to bring in my big shot and run that through. Now I'm using my regular Big Shot platform, not the magnetic platform, that's gonna to be too thick. And remember, when you're embossing, using your embossing folders, you're gonna want the crease going the way that you're rolling it through the Big Shot so that you're not putting too much pressure on that crease. Easy, gorgeous, and while I've got this out, I'm going to emboss my celebrate sentiment here. Get my piece. Uh, this piece, I'll get the dimensions on my blog for you. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this piece right in my folder and try to center that as best I can. Now this Celebrate embossing folder actually comes as a duo with this Happy. And um, the really cool thing about this is anything solid works really great to bring out these debossed layers. Just gorgeous. And we're going to use the flowers from the stamp set that I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so we're going to get this pushed through the big shot. Here we have our celebrate. Okay, so we've got our layers. Get these out of the way. <clears throat> All right, next I'm going to come in and stamp over the top of my debossed sentiment here. I'm using Early Espresso from the Tree Branch. Now this, what we're stamping, comes from the Colorful Season set. This is in the big catalog. We're using this tree branch here and then a few of the flowers with those um, inner, I don't know what you would call those, buds or pollen <laughs> clusters. And we're also going to be using the word spring from the labeler alphabet. This set I love because, of course, you can create whatever words you want. Now, I'm stamping on top of a stamp and pierce mat because these stamps are photopolymer. So we want a little cushion and give underneath them. So ink that up again with my early espresso. And I want the branch to be coming in from the outside edge of the card. So I'm going to line that up like so and stamp. I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want those branches to get into the debossed portion of my word. Okay, next we're gonna come in with our powder pink and stamp a few flowers. Put 
line that up with the branch. And for this flower, there's a flat edge on it. I want that flat edge kind of tucked up under this branch here. Now, these are two-step stamps because now I can come over the top here in my berry burst and add a pop of bold color with these cute little insides to the flowers. Again, I'm not stamping very hard because I want to make sure that I'm not getting portions of my stamp into the debossed area of my word celebrate. Got a little extra ink on there. I'm just going to wipe that off. Okay, now our flowers are complete and we want to come back in here with our word spring. I am excited for spring and so I'm definitely celebrating that spring is coming. And I'm going to line this up right here. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Love it. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is I want to bring in a little pop of pink from behind my Celebrate Spring layer. And I'm going to do that with my Ticket Tear Border Punch. So I've just got some strips of powder pink that are three quarters of an inch wide. And I'm gonna run these through. Now when you're running this through, the pieces that are punched, you just line up here with the outside. And then you make sure that you're not overlapping any areas that you already punched with a different section. There's also a little guide here to show you where the punch begins and ends. Oops, and I missed a piece here, so I'm just going to come in, layer it back up. And then there's no interruption. All right. Now I'm going to glue these to my strip here. So I'm putting glue on the back of the strip. And I'm using my liquid glue for this because, honestly, I'm not very good at making sure that I get these just perfect. And so I need the ability to move them around once they're stuck on my project. I'm just gonna arrange that so just a little piece of that is peeking out behind my layer. And then I'm going to come in here with my snips and just trim this off. There we go. So we've got our top layer done. That was quick. 
And now we can start to assemble the card. Now, you can use this either way. I actually liked the debossed image better than the popped up image. And so I'm gonna glue this down, put the glue on the popped up image. Your liquid glue is great for this as well because it kind of gets into all those nooks and crannies. Now, I only glued in the center of this layer because this is kind of a whimsical spring card and I wanted the edges kind of folded up off of the edge of the card. I don't want them stuck down there tight. Okay, now we've got our next layer here. I want this, I think I want the back one down and the top one going up. So I'm going to come in here and glue this layer down. And again, because we've got an embossed piece, I'm using my liquid glue. Place that where I'd like it. And now for a little shimmer and glitz, if you will, I've got a piece of the mini sequin trim. And I just want that kind of fold it in half here like this and I'm going to glue this down because no one's or sorry tape this down because no one's gonna see this layer and that's gonna help keep this trim in place okay Next, I gotta come in here with my dimensionals. I want that top layer popped up. Put one in the center here to really secure it. And we're going to place this on our card front. Isn't that pretty? That was so simple. Now we've got the inside of our card. And I'm just going to stamp. Now I need my piercing mat again. My photopolymer to make sure I get a nice crisp image. And I'm going to come in here with my You Make Me Smile sentiment. A little too much ink on here. And I'm going to come in the bottom right corner. And then I wanted some flowers around it to match the front of the card. So I'll come in with my powder pink. And we'll add that same pop of color like we did on the front. So in my berry burst. There we go. And now we can assemble the inside of the card. So I'm just going to put this with my snail adhesive. I, I do like snail adhesive when I'm uh, gluing down the insides of my card because that way it's nice and smooth for when I want to write on it. Line up those sides. And then we're going to bring this into the center. And 
their inside is done. Isn't that gorgeous? This card is so elegant and pretty. Simple, bright, springy colors, and it was really quick and easy to put together. Thanks for stopping by to check out my video tutorial today. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Uh, any order that you place with me qualifies you for an invitation to my VIP page where I show you lots more ideas like this. We play games, there's prizes, it's a lot of fun. So check out my blog for the dimensions of all the layers of this card, countrycardsbyrose.com. Thanks again for stopping by and I hope you have a great day.